Yes, my friends, this is Salazar, a.k.a. Dakshinamurti from tlook.com. And in today's video, I will be talking to you about a new service called TweetGrid. Accessible in TweetGrid.com. Now, TweetGrid is a service that uses the Twitter.com microblogging service API in order for you to customize some searches and generate some feeds and you can well order those feeds according to certain pre-format grids you can have all these grids that you see in here from one by one to three by three now let's access one grid the one by one so I'll show you what you can do so this is the dashboard for tweet grid and what you can see is that you have this search box which is filled with the keyword Twitter so it's showing in real time and it and updates in real time too all the tweets that people are writing at the time that contain the keyword that you see in here so you can search for any term for instance anarchy you do search and it updates so as you can see all of these tweets have the word anarchy in them now about the dashboard itself you have the ability to make a tweet out of your searches out of your grids so by default this is the tweet that you get you can just press the button that says tweet it and will generate a link to this grid that you have configured you can replace the text at will then you introduce your username and your password this means your Twitter username and password and you press tweet before I do that demonstration let me do a couple of changes to the actual interface uh, but before that full address and this would be the short address are used if you want to save your tweet grid this is done for instance by dragging this into your Firefox bookmarks bar so that any time that you want to consult this grid you can do so by just click, clicking on the bookmark now in this drop down box you see the numerous grid configurations so let's say that I I did a search for anarchy and I want to do a search for socialism so I could add another um, column instantaneously so there you have it We've got a column that preserves this, the prior search results new one and voila you can have as much of these as you want up to 3.3 design that looks like this So it's pretty handy for you to keep uh, in touch with every topic that is of interest to you. Now you can, for instance, increase or decrease the size of the font by pressing Control Shift Plus or Control Minus to reduce it. See? let's let's talk about control plus and control minus okay this is great um, now hashtag field will be for you to keep in touch with Twitter parties for those of you who don't know what a Twitter party is it's when well a bunch of like-minded people 
gather around a common topic of conversation and they want to conduce that conversation over in Twitter so uh, let's go to the origin to the home page of TweetGrid because there is a function precisely for that I see that my graphic card is again a piece of shit but never mind okay so we're back in the home page of TweetGrid in here you have um, a FAQ, you have FAQ I mean you have search tips where, where all the boolean operators you can use and uh, also other kinds of codes to improve your search results um, are listed then you have the widget section where you have the codes to embed into your website um, widgets that enable you to get the results of your searches this one just uh, does what's what search.twitter.com does it's a plain old search engine and the final tab would be the party it's for Twitter parties I already told you what a Twitter party is you just fill in this little form with the party hashtag let's let's imagine that I want to conduce a Twitter party about anarchy and I want it to be called by the initials you put a hash mark and then a for anarchy FTW for for the win okay so you would pass that on to your um, colleagues or friends everybody that, that was gonna participate on the discussion and this would be the signature of their tweets so this means they would be conversing with each other and every tweet they would uh, send they would add this little quote that allows us to track the conversation so you, you would define a party host or not and you would put in your nickname on Twitter you would click join the party it will essentially generate another grid with the hashtag and your nickname so you can follow your own tweets on the right and you would follow every tweet marked with that tag in here we don't see any results because there is no such Twitter party I just made it up so as a final test to, to test this I'm going to be tweeting this grid to my YouTube so I fill my user data my user my password and I press tweet and I read success we can now go to Twitter to my Twitter account and voila my last uh, tweet check out my tweet grid and the link if we click the link there's our grid so this was tweet grid a nice little app I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, as always, subscribe to my channel. Be cool, be safe. This was Salazar from T-Look.